quick day with me and my babies. These guys are definitely going to be staying with me. The others will be adopted. Um, if one of the bucks shows a lot of potential in his body type, I will probably keep him too. But these girls, actually one of these is a boy and one is a girl, and they kind of, they're slightly different. They're growing different. This one is heavier and feistier. <laughs> so we're getting some, mm, some personality genes in there that are different from what we're used to. But she's a sweetie. And he's a, I can't remember which one's a girl. Here, let me check. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, I can't tell because she got a diaper on. Oh, I can't tell because she got a diaper on. Anyway, I think one's a boy and one's a girl. I'm really, really bad at it. <laughs> Sexing my, my animals. <laughs> but eventually, you can tell. And it's the same way you can tell on anybody. <laughs> are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Oh, they're just like little pillows. Mm. Okay, so there's a little update on this, this litter. Um, so they are a quarter. Anyway, they have some Rex in them. They're fourth generation back to English Angora. The only factor that I have to worry about is will they get too big? This one looks about like the right size. And both of them have the right ear tassels and head furnishings and wool type, which is wonderful. When we see their, um, their adult wool, we'll know for sure. But it's beautiful, it's non-felting, it's got a nice crimp. I'll let me show you the crimp. But you're gorgeous, aren't ya? You're gorgeous. Do you guys want to help me name these two? I need a boy name and a girl name. So check out my babies. I'll give you a nice close-up. What should this guy be called? Oops, sorry, sweetheart. What should we name her? <laughs> or him. So maybe a boy name and a girl name for each one. And then the next time I bring the bunnies back, we get another growth peak. It's only been a couple of weeks since the last time you saw them. Rabbits grow really fast. Maybe it's been a whole month. I don't know. It's not been very long. But yeah, we'll have cages all ready for you guys in no time at all, won't we? If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and definitely send me some name choices. If you're a soap maker, I'll send you some wool, some wool for, your, um, for your soap. So just let me know below if you'd like to try Angora wool. And um, send me an email at genspice1 at yahoo.ca and give me your address so I know who to send it to. All right. Bye for now.